Hey guys, Ramos Prime here, and today we're going to be talking about the original 13 Primes, and we're going to start off with the leader of the 13 Primes, Prima. So, she's, obviously it's going to be a she, um, she was the leader of the 13 Primes, so she was the first Prime made. And she did have a love interest in Megatronus, and the weapon that got forged for her from Primus was the Matrix of Leadership, and each of these people could only wield the weapon that they were given. But later on you'll figure out that there's a reincarnation, I guess you could say. Anyways, Megatronus, the Fallen, had a Mega Cannon. That was given to him by Primus. Alpha Trion, he was just smart, so he knew how to build. He knew how the Transformers worked. Vector Prime had a sword and used a Micron gun forearm weapon. Nexus Prime used a Nexus Blade, which is super, super sharp. It can cut through anything, even a building. Uh, Solus Prime had the Forge of Solus Prime, which was a weapon that could... Could basically cut through anything. Uh, Lego Maximus had a katana, which was like the Star Saber. And I don't think I put in the Star Saber. Anyways, Alchemist Prime. So, Alchemist Prime, if you guys don't know, I barely knew this, I only knew a couple things about the 13 Primes, is that his weapon, he forged himself. Only a couple of Primes got weapons from Primus. So, Alchemist Prime made himself Vector Sigma after, Pri after the war and Primus died. Um, Elgamus Prime had something called a Terraformer. Which, I knew the weapons, but I couldn't remember which one had wielded it, and then I did a little more research. Um, but he had a terraformer that was made for him, specifically. And, sorry, my English class, but I'm not rushing through this. Um, anyways. Onyx Prime. The Onyx Blaster. Which is kind of like a bull blaster, only except it's more like a shotgun. So think of, um, Dark of the Moon Megatron's shotgun, and that's what it is. Um, Micronus Prime, so he created the Minicons. That was his little thing. Now, Quintessus Prime, which is about the size of a human, and... <laughs> Hint, hint. Uh, she is actually in a movie. Let's see if you can guess who she is. She will have a, her own picture at the end, but each version of her is different throughout time. But I'm going based off of recent movies and the comics. But her main weapon was electricity. Now, here's the reincarnation. Optimus Prime. Primus gave him, made him an axe. So he physically has the axe. So the leader of the Transformers, the one who uh, helped with the Great War, the good guy, this guy, he's a reincarnation of one of the original 13 Primes. Now, as you heard, some of them didn't have Prime after their name. That's mainly because they gave up the gave up the title of Prime after the war with Unicron. And Optimus could wield the Onyx Blaster, the Minicons, the Forge of Souls Prime, Vector Prime's Sword, Megatronus's Mega Cannon, and the Matrix of Leadership. That's how when he was reincarnated uh in as Orion Pax and then once the Great War started, that's why he was stronger. Because he had all the skills of the primes. That's why he was almost unstoppable. 
Okay, so now we get into the big, big, big boy. Primus. He has two arm cannons. He has what I'm just going to call two knee cannons. Two shoulder cannons. Um, he has finger cannons, funny enough. So he has ten finger cannons, including the thumb. He has uh, guns. He has multiple guns, or blasters, because I don't want to get demonetized. Um, he has a double-edged sword, which is more or less like the Star Saber. And the Star Saber has an equal that Unicron made from his blood, which is Dark Energon, which is called the Dark Star Saber. Not really creative. And he wields, he can wield two planets as a flail. So Primus has enough energy within his hands and his body. So when he transforms from planet to robot, which he did after the Great War, he was able to basically physically absorb himself into Cybertron to make himself stronger. So that's what he ended up doing. And now he has his own robot mode that only can be accessed by a prime. And they need Vector Sigma. And there's more than one key to Vector Sigma. But one key will work to at least awaken his mind. But you need three keys to get him to be able to transform four keys to make him move, be able to be fully functional and everything. But he to talk to um Optimus, he either has to possess another robot, which he does by shooting his mind, I guess you could say, into another robot through telepathy, I don't know. It's kind of like um Oh, what's her name? I can't think of her name. Uh She can manipulate people's will and stuff. That's basically what it is. Um, and pretty much I'm just going to put up pictures of all these at the end of the video. This is a very long video for what it's supposed to be. I have to cut this down. That's not happening. So my project kind of failed, but I do projects for school all the time. Length is something I need, so. Anyways, guys, uh, pictures at the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Hey guys, Hermes Prime here. As you can tell, new day, new shirt. Um, but today, since yesterday we did comments in English as usual, I got my two comments here from Avery Parker and Klein Laney. All of our subjects were based around the internet. Alexis did Destiny, 
I did the 13 primes, as you could tell. Klein did, uh, computer gaming. And Avery did, uh... Something on emojis, I can't remember. Um, so let's start off with Avery. Why did the robots die if they are if they aren't a living creature? See, they are living creatures. They're cyber organ they're cybernetic basically they're organic robots. If you've ever played like Fallout 4, the synths in that game basically like that. All wire and everything, but they're made as a human and they have a heart, something that keeps them alive. At the end of the video, I'll be posting a picture of what that looks like. Now, Klein Laney, why was there a war? So, the reason there was a war between Primus and Unicron, which I'm assuming that's the war he's talking about and not the Great War, because that I can make a whole other video on. Um, Primus is all the good in the universe, and Unicron's all the bad. I'll try to find that picture from the Transformers Cybertron show. But, um, the reason there was a war was because, obviously, a brother feud... Which one's better, which one's stronger, which one's smarter, which one can fight the best. But one wanted chaos, the other one wanted or order and chaos, because you can't have one without the other. Otherwise, a whole chain of events can end up destroying one thing. So think of um, Congress, for example. Say um, there was no order. Say everybody never agreed on anything. All the laws we've had over the years never existed. It'd be chaos. Our roads would be burnt rubber. Our cars would probably be in like six billion pieces. Uh, cars might be destroyed. Stuff like that. A lot of damage. That's why we have order and chaos. Because we need an equal amount of both to live. So, and why they continued the war was because order and chaos are colliding opposites. And they're always fighting each other. Think of it as, uh, I guess you can say The Rock versus, like... The Undertaker, or John Cena, or something like that. So, anyways, bye guys.